What would be your dream organisational structure of your party? Well, that's that's a big question. I suppose organisation flows from politics. So to start there, I would first scrap the current charter called the Whole of Humanity, adopted in 1999. This laid out the political basis for watering down our socialism to moralistic gibberish. If I had my way, I would replace that with our draft programme, which again is strongly inspired by the CPGB draft programme. Flowing from that, I would put Congress as the highest party organ convening annually about party strategy. In our party, we have had a development of pimping our Congress with performances from the Metropolitan Orchestra and the like, which minimises our time to discuss our actual politics. Also, perhaps surprisingly for international listeners, our Congresses are always limited to just one day, so everything is going in a big rush with speaking time limited to two minutes at best. I'd spread the Congress out over a few days and cut out the nonsense. Also, there was a motion at the last Congress on pooling speaking time allotments among speakers that agreed on a similar topic where a common speaker is agreed amongst them so that more time can go to actual political discussion. This is really an excellent idea. On top of that, I would expand the educational team curriculum to educate party members on political economy and the labour theory of value, the history of the workers' movement and our vision of socialism, and on topics like debating. I'd also reform the party's publications, the Tribune and Spanning, to have critical discussion led by an editorial staff that aims to bring in experts and gives room to dissenting views. I would also focus on building and strengthening the workers' movement. The Socialist Party has has no organised work in the trade union movement. That's going to start. We make them into schools of communism. A few years back, we had a party-wide discussion on the democratisation of the economy, which fell flat as absolutely nothing happened with it. Well, now we'll be starting a discussion on a cooperative movement and start some of our own to kickstart the movement. We'll build up our social culture by having community centres, walking clubs, sports clubs, you name it. The last thing I would mention here is that I would use the party's resources to build up our own media network. We can do a daily paper, so we should. We can actually get state funds to start a public broadcast. So why the hell aren't we?